Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about logical not operator. Before going to learn logical not operator, let's see few things first. So you know, based on number of operands, the operators are divided into three parts. What are that three? The first one is unary operators. Basically, perform operation on one operand. The second one is binary operators. Perform operations on two operands. The third one is ternary operators. Perform operations on three operands. So, till now we covered these things, right? Logical and logical or relational operators. Then arithmetic operators like plus minus multiplication. Uh, division modulo you know this all four operators are what binary operators because in all the cases we were taking two operands if you go back and if you watch that videos you will realize yes we were taking two operands everywhere so binary operators takes two operands and this all are what binary operators that we have already covered now let's start the logical not operator so what is logical not operator so the first thing is it is represented by this symbol what is this symbol exclamation mark right in english it is what exclamation mark so it is represented by this symbol fine and it is basically a unary operator that takes a boolean value as its operand only one operand and that operand takes what type of value boolean value is it clear so let's see the syntax syntax of logical not operator so this is the syntax simple this this what exclamation mark and then condition All right let's see the truth table so condition and it is what inverse of condition you can read like this okay so see if it is true then you will get output as false if it is false then you will get output as true fine so based on this how can you define this represents this is what logical not logical not symbol right so this represents the logical not operator which inverses the result of the given condition see the condition was true and in the output you got the inverse of true that is what false fine so the main point is what it is applicable only for boolean type but not applicable for integral types remember this point it is not applicable for integral types example this is one example system dot out dot print ln you know not of true what is not of true it means inverse of true is false so you will get false in the output right on the output console now let's see the next example so this example i have taken uh, i have one class that is logical not operator class okay then i have public static void main method string args string array args then i have one variable that is boolean type of variable boolean is valid is equal to true so if inverse of is valid so tell me what is is valid here true true right and what is the inverse or not of this this is what false right it means false so this statement will not execute in this case so what it is doing it is inversing the actual condition so is valid was having what true and it got inverse and now it is false so if false we will see if loop this if and else conditions right for now just remember in this in this way you can provide the value of logical not so true so it will become what false so if of false it means this if block is not going to execute because here it is what false so right 
if you will change this true from false then what will happen inverse of false inverse of false is what true inverse of false is what true and if it is true so if of true now if of true is what this statement will execute then system dot out dot print ln invalid case because here it is what true now fine let me show you this in the eclipse so src uh, this package is present right click on that package new class so class name i want to give logical logical not operator logical not operator i want public static word mean class also in this now what i want to show you see is i want one boolean so boolean is valid boolean is valid is equal to true for now this is true so if it is not true like this i want a condition so not is valid if it is not true then system dot out dot print ln print ln then what you want invalid case invalid case else else sys out valid case valid case run this see right click run as java application what you got a valid case why see is valid hold what true so here it is replaced by what true internally so true so inverse of true is what false so it becomes false if it becomes false then else part will be executed in the else part you have written system dot out dot print ln valid case print valid case so you got the output as valid case and if you change this as false false then what you will get what you will get see invalid case because now is valid is false so if is valid is false so false inverse of false is what true so it becomes true then if then inside this what is present true so this a statement is going to execute fine so you will get output as invalid case is it clear so this is how you can use this logical not operator fine now one important point one important point here is you know we have seen that that it is only applicable for boolean type not for the integral types but i am trying to apply on the integral type also like inverse of 5 i am using this okay what what will happen tell me you will get a compile time error that bad operand type int for unary operator logical not fine you will get this compile time error if you don't believe if you want to see let me show you this operator's class is present already see this statement is present i'm trying to apply on this uh, what integral data so save it and go where this file is present here it, this file is present open a cmd from here cmd now what i want i want to compile this right because i told you we will get compile time error so compile this file operators.java see bad operand type int for unary operator right clear that's what i am trying to explain you so this is what sorry so this is what all about logical not operator so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel to get further updates